Hi hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the most popular text editor in the Linux world. VI is a widely used Linux editor in Unix operating system. VIM or as we friendly call it as Vim is improved version of VI which is more colorful and interactive. VIM also recognizes the extensions of files, highlights support accordingly. There are so many prominent editors like Emacs VIM is widely used. For example, we have CAT, which is just to show the file touch, which creates a zero byte file, and Nano, which is another editor. Like I said, VIM is more interactive, and in some Linux distributions, uh, you have to install it uh, because some Linux distros don't directly come with VIM installed. Of course, MacBooks come with uh, VIM by default. In this video, we're going to talk more about some of those tips and tricks. Uh, related to VIM and don't forget to sh like share and subscribe the channel uh, over to the video let us create a demo file for us to try out our tips and tricks of Vim hey this is uh, test Vim hello save the file now uh, let us quickly find out how we can replace uh, words in a Vim file. Type colon percentage s and slash the word to be replaced and the word that you want to put in the place of replacement. Say here hello and I put thank you. So if you want to replace multiple words in Vim, uh, you could go and do the same thing. Press escape and then uh, type the same command that you have previously typed uh, so let us add some more text to the file before and then uh, we will type uh, the the same command and then like we'll see how we can replace specific words uh, in the file say arvind Trevu youtube channel okay now press escape remember that you always need to be in escape to start uh, like you know typing your stuff and you need to save the details as well so just put colon percentage s the word to be replaced and the word that you want to put it in the place of replacement and slash g that would replace all the words to small case beam to add delete multiple lines at once in vim this is a wonderful thing called visual block and you could get into the visual block by escape control b and then you select uh, using the cursor and then you you would be able to press the down arrow uh, you could do that in a similar manner you could also uh, use the same instructions and use x to delete the file so you that way you could add or delete multiple characters in a vim uh, editor now if you want to go to the start or end of the line vim uh, you could press shift four uh, takes the cursor to the end of the line or shift six takes the cursor to the beginning of the line now if you want to uh, go to the start or end of the file in vim uh, you just need to press shift square bracket or opening square bracket or shift closing square bracket which takes you to the you know uh, first care of the first line in the file or the last care of the last line in the file alternatively you could press shift g which would take to the first care of the last line in the file right quite confusing maybe but useful and if you want to search obviously which is a most used use case like you just type slash vim and it will take you to the uh, vim uh, the line the word that you have typed if you want to search and highlight all the occurrences of vim in the in the uh, a specific word in the file what you need to do is like slash type the word and then set hls that will highlight the occurrences of the word in that file if you want to replace a character in vim then you simply need to uh, press r and uh, type the letter that you need to be replaced remember it takes you to a visual mode but it simply occurs at a single letter so it's quite easy as well so just press r and then the letter to be replaced so all of this in the escape mode only like you just need to press escape to do all of that and then if you want to uh, go to a specific line number in Vim, which is also quite useful if you want to go a specific log line or an exception that you are seeing in a log, just colon and type the line number or colon uh, type like, you know, type the line number that you are getting in the log and it would simply take you to that particular line number. Quite useful as a hack. And then I think most used as well after the search. 
if you specifically uh, want to like redo or undo changes, which happens if you are editing a config file and you just want to like, you know, undo the change that you have done or redo the change that you have like, you know, undoed, right? You know, you could type U simply and it undoes, uh, like it will remove all the changes. And then like, you know, uh, if you do control R, it will redo that particular strange. And then if you want to add a new line with insert mode in Vim, just press uh, O and it would take you to the new line and also in the in insert mode, wherever you are on the previous line. So this is a kind of uh, thing that you probably would experience, like you go to the line, press I in into insert mode and then do all of this. But this is quite easy uh, way to like kind of get to a new, new line, like just hit O and uh, you would be going to that particular place. And how to delete single or multiple lines in a Vim? Uh, this is also quite useful if you want to press like, you know, go to escape mode and like press DD uh, in a single stroke and then it deletes a single line. If you want to delete multiple lines, just type the number and D to delete the multiple lines. For example, if you want to delete the three lines below the A, then you type 3D and then it will remove all the lines. And if you want to undo, just press U that we learned previously, right? And then this way you could kind of like delete the lines if you don't want probably again, if you are editing a config file and you want to delete it. This way you could definitely kind of like achieve what you want to do uh, in, in this particular hack. And last but not least, you could also see file differences using VM. There is a utility called vimdiff. I have two files here, which is arvind.txt and arvindputreu.txt. And what I'm going, trying to do here is to kind of like uh, showcase the differences between uh, two files and thereby you could compare both the files side by side itself. Uh, so how do you do that? You just type vim uh, diff and give the two file names and then press enter. Then you'll see both the changes side by side with all the differences highlighted as well. So this is an interactive thing that you could do, right? Thank you for watching this video. I would come back with new video. Until then, stay safe.